So it's finally confirmed that uh, Dr. Abedi Wanika is working for President Museveni in the National Unity Platform. Yes, uh, Dr. Abedi Wanika is uh, President Museveni's agent in the National Unity Platform. I'm going to be giving you all the details, but uh, first of all, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and uh, tap on the bell as well for all the notifications. Be sure to be updated about what is happening in the current affairs and also in the entertainment industry right here on the Buzz UG. Now, Bobby Wine and uh, his entire National Unity Platform party have attacked Dr. Abedi Wanika for making statements about holding negotiations with the President Museveni without first of all consulting the party. Uh, we all know that uh, Dr. Bedi Wanika is a member of parliament uh, representing Kimanya Kabonera, that is in Masaka. And uh, earlier this week, uh, Dr. Bedi Wanika proposed that uh, the leadership of the National Unity Platform should start thinking of uh, holding a political dialogue with uh, President Museveni so that to secure freedom of the incarcerated party members. We all know that uh, this government arrested uh, NUP members last year, that was uh, before the elections and after the elections, and uh, some of them are still in Kitalia prison up to now. However, uh, some of them were released, uh, the likes of uh, Eddie Mutwe, Nubian Lee, and uh, many others. However, National Unity Platform has attacked Dr. Abed Wanika. They are saying that uh, they can never negotiate with uh, President Museveni and his entire government. Now, the party leadership also says that uh, negotiations with uh, President Museveni and his government are very useless and uh, they cannot bring back their members who have been killed. Of course, we all know that uh, very many people from uh, the National Unity Platform have been killed and uh, the party leaders are saying that uh, negotiating with uh, President Museveni cannot bring back all those people that have been murdered. But Wanika still says that, hey... It is better to have a dialogue with the President Museveni so that he can release those who are still in prison. You get. In his own words, he said, let us stop cheap politics. We need to negotiate with Museveni to release all innocent political prisoners. And uh, some party members, especially on social media, are saying that uh, they knew long time that uh, Dr. Bediwanika was not part of the struggle since day one. Because how do you negotiate with someone who has done all sorts of bad things to Ugandans? They are saying President Museveni has killed people. President Museveni's government has done all sorts of bad things to Ugandans. So how do you wake up one morning and you start negotiating with uh, such kind of a person? So Bwanika has really caused problems for himself after speaking about this issue. But I cannot conclude this story minus giving my opinion. Honestly speaking, if you believe in the party and uh, its entire leadership, why would you come up with such a proposal minus first of all consulting the president of the party and other leaders? Bwanika says that uh, he's part of the National Unity Platform. I think for starters, he would have first consulted the president, his president, and that is a Chagulanyi. And, uh, you know, he shares his proposal, his mind about this issue, other than just coming on TV and you say it loud and clear that uh, the leadership of the National Unity Platform should negotiate with uh, President Museveni as if you don't know where your leaders are. So I feel like maybe something is wrong with Abuanika, just like many other people are saying on social media. You know, they are saying he's a mole. Yes, they are saying uh, Bwanika is a mall and uh, he's working for President Museveni in the National Unity Platform. But uh, of course, I will keep you posted when I finally get to know more details about this story. What you have to do is subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and uh, tap on the bell as well for all the notifications. Thank you.